Hi folks, nice to meet you on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and root the Nexus 6. That's right. Uh, these instructions, you'll be able to use it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'll be using a Windows computer, uh, but I'll have all this stuff you have to type. Uh, it's nearly identical, just slightly different. I'll have it on my site, so you can copy that along with the video, and I'll kind of point out where you have to enter those things. Um, for rooting any Nexus device, you're going to lose everything when you unlock the bootloader on any Nexus device. You're going to lose everything on your phone. That's just the f uh, way the phones are made. Samsung phones are a little bit different because they don't have unlock bootloaders. Uh, you can go ahead and root it easily. Uh, but with all Nexus devices, all HCC, all Motorola devices, once you unlock the bootloader, it wipes off everything on your phone. That's a security measure. Um, there is like an experimental ADB backup that I used to promote, but then it's an experimental feature and it doesn't always work, so that's why I took it out of my tutorial. Um, so if you want to root your Nexus 6, make sure you do it right when you get it. Um, because the good thing is that uh, once you have a rooted Nexus 6, you can install custom ROMs, uh, run rooted apps, and also if you need to return it for full warranty, you can go ahead and uh, install the full factory firmware and turn it into 100% uh, factory firmware, which is really good. Um, so definitely root it when you get your Nexus device if you're thinking about it. Uh, and there's actually no reason why you would not want to root, even if you don't use many rooted apps. Uh, you know, having that option, you know, in the future means that you don't have to erase anything. Anyway, getting too wordy here. Let's go ahead and actually root this bad boy. Let's go do this, baby. All right, it's time to root your device. Uh, before we begin, you're going to lose everything on your phone, so um, make a backup. You can still save your personal files and videos, just copy it over to your uh, computer uh, before you do so. And uh, once you have backed up all your you know, personal files, videos, uh, but your apps and the app data is going to be all lost. I mean, Google does have a backup feature, and I think you can actually use that here. Um, so you can use that to back up your data, uh, Wi-Fi password and stuff. But I don't think it backs up all of your apps. Sometimes it fails. I don't know. Um, but uh, do make a backup of everything as well as you can. There's no turning back. And let's go ahead and do this. Um, so go ahead and power off your phone. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and hold down a volume down and the power button, I think. This is the first time I did it. If it's not, we'll do it differently. Volume down and power. All right, I got it right. Um, this is called the fast boot flash mode. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and connect a micro USB cable from your phone to your computer. All right, and let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll need to download uh, Clock Mod or Clock Mod or Torp Recovery. So go to my site highonandroid.com. Go click on uh, CWM slash Torp Recovery. And then go find the uh, Nexus 6 Torp Recovery. Uh, as of this video, there is no clock mark recovery, but it should be coming soon. It's up to you if you know what that is. If you don't know what that is, just use Torp. It's easier. Um, go ahead and click on Download Nexus 6 Torp Recovery. All right. And scroll down and wait five seconds. And it will ask you to enter a CAPTCHA. All right. Um, so go ahead and hit the play button. And then just go ahead and enter the CAPTCHA here. Uh, we bid you good night. All right. And then hit the download button. Ah, download button down here. And that will start to download. Uh, and once it's downloaded, all right, uh, it should be in your downloads folder. I've already downloaded it once, and it's downloading twice. Uh, but let me go ahead and do that. All right, also you'll need to download a fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download it and double click on it and extract all files. All right, and that will give you a fastboot folder uh, with all the files you need. And this is compatible with Mac and Linux as um, there is one for Mac and Linux. All right, uh, next also you will need to download uh, update super su blah blah.zip. This is the actual file that roots your uh, phone. Uh, and also, I've downloaded the Torp Recovery, which started with Open Recovery, blah, blah, dot IMG. That's all IMG file. All right, um, go ahead and do a right click copy on the uh, dot IMG file you downloaded, the Open Recovery, and go into your Fast Folder, Fast Boot Folder, and do right click Paste. All right, 
And next, we're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt. Um, just go ahead and go to uh, start and type CMD in the search bar. All right, and you'll get this uh, command prompt. Now, if you're using Mac or Linux, uh, you can go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how to do this, um, just Google it. All right, you should be able to figure it out. Ah, sorry, my, my windows are all messy here. Let me fix that real quick. It's my double screen for my LG uh, Y monitor. All right, so once we have it here, we're going to type CD space downloads like that. Hit enter. And next, we're going to type CD space fastboot like that. Enter. And there's, next, we're going to unlock the bootloader. This will unlock the bootloader and erase everything on your phone. So type fastboot space OEM space unlock like that. All right. Oh, I forgot to tell you if you're using. Uh, if you're using, oop, what happened? Uh, if you're using Windows, you'll need to install the drivers. Um, let me go ahead and show you that actually first. Uh, go to Control Panel. Next, open up uh, Hardware and Sound, and go to your Device Manager, and you should be able to see uh, Fastboot Shamu S. That's the Nexus Six. So go ahead and download. Oops. Go ahead and download. Uh, usbdrivers.zip, I'll have the links on my site. Go ahead and download that and also extract the file. And this will give you a USB driver folder in your downloads directory. This is all the drivers you need. So I'm going to go back to Device Manager. I'm going to double click on Fastboot Shamu S, hit Update Driver, uh, choose Browse My Computer for My Software. And then I'm going to choose Let Me Pick from a list of drivers on my computer. Uh, choose Show All Devices, Next and choose have disk and browse to that USB folder which should be in your uh, download folder under USB driver folder. Now if you're using Mac or Linux you don't need drivers so go ahead and skip all this okay I'm just sort of saying for uh, Windows. Go ahead and choose Android WinUSB.inf open hit OK and you should see three options here. I'll choose the first one Android ADB interface say next get a warning say yes uh, and if it says yes, install, and we just ignore all the warnings. All right, and this method is a lot easier than the one I'm showing you because the regular method you you have to download the whole Android SDK. Uh, it could take sometimes an hour, sometimes 30 minutes. Um, I've I put all the fast boot files you need for Mac, Windows, Linux in one file, so you don't have to download the whole thing. It's only like Five megabytes or something. All right, when that's done, should be all good to go. You should have Android ADB interface. All right, so if you have that, you're good to go. Go back to your fast boot here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit enter. And this will unlock the bootloader and erase everything. Okay, and boom shakalaka. Uh, we got unlock bootloader. It says yes. Go ahead and hit the power button to say unlock, and it says mm -hmm. unlock, unlocking, and right now everything's been unlocked here all right go ahead and hit the power button to start and this will have erased everything on your phone uh, the next step is pretty easy but go ahead and sign into your phone uh, you know because it's gonna give you that welcome screen so we'll be back when this is done uh, it's actually erasing everything now all right and I'll be back when this completely boots up all right, I got the welcome screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip through everything. Uh, skip anyway. Next, I'll fix it all later. So I'm gonna just kind of get through rooting here. Hello. All right, it's connected uh, to my. Uh, make sure it's still connected to your computer. All right, next, go ahead and download the. Oh, you should have downloaded the uh, Super SU zip file. All right. And it should show up here. If it doesn't show up, just unplug it, plug it back in. Hello. Okay. Oh, there we go. So I've got Nexus 6, 6 there. Go ahead and right click on the update super su blah blah dot zip. Copy. Go to your Nexus 6. Put it anywhere in your folders, or I just put it right here. And this will copy over the super su. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and put it back into fast boot mode um, to install Torp Recovery. So next, go ahead and power off. All right, and you're going to do a volume down and the power button just like you did before. Exact same thing. 
Sometimes you might have to take the cable out. There we go. Volume down. Home button. There we go. So I'm in the fast boot mode. Go ahead and connect it to your computer again. Ah. All right, we're going to enter uh, fast boot space flash space recovery space, and then we're going to enter the file name uh, of the file you copied earlier, this whole thing. What I usually do is I just type in the first four letters, and if you just hit the tap key on your keyboard, it will fill, fill it out for you. So if you thought I was typing super fast, I do type super fast, but I was actually cheating like that. All right, go ahead and hit enter, and this will send the recovery, OK, finish. Uh, you've successfully manually installed Torp Recovery. All right, let me go ahead and change the camera angle and we'll finish this rooting thing. All right, guys, so go ahead and use the key to go to recovery mode. You can go all the way down. All right, go back to recovery mode, hit the power button, and this will enter you into the Torp Recovery you just installed, uh, which is great. So if you see this, you got to here, we're almost done. We're gonna go ahead and flash the SuperSU zip file, reboot, and boom shot clock, we're done. Um, so go ahead and choose install, uh, and go ahead and find the super SU file, click on it, swipe to flash, and that's it, reboot system now, and we are done. Next time you want to get into Torb Recovery, same thing, power off, volume down and the power, and you can make a backup ROM. Uh, I do have a tutorial on how to make a backup ROM, restore your ROM, so check that out. The first thing you should do... Um, is make a backup ROM. Well, go ahead and sign in and with all of your apps, settings, and stuff, uh, and then make a backup. That way, you have a copy of a working phone. Um, and that's pretty much it. But uh, we'll go ahead and boot up real quick here and check that we have full root. All right. And you should see Super SU there. Ah. Go ahead and click on it. And no thanks. Now, if it asks you to update binary, say continue and hit normal. Uh, that's about it. And if it, that fails, just reboot and try again. It'll work. All right. Uh, to verify you have full root, um, go ahead and download any rooted app. Let me go ahead and sign in because my phone just reset it. I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, I do highly recommend using Titanium Backup app. This will back up all of your apps and app data, uh, which means you can go ahead and back it up on this phone. Maybe you get a new phone or you have a different phone. Uh, or maybe you, your sister has a phone and you want to give this game to her and you know uh, a lot of ways I give you that hint alright there we go go ahead and open and boom shakalaka you should see super user request window make sure you hit grant before the four seconds is over and you have a fully rooted Nexus 6 with everything wiped off um, but uh, now you have root you can root uh, you can go ahead and run uh, any rooted apps you can make backup of your apps transfer it. You can make a backup of your ROM, uh, transfer it to another Nexus 6. Uh, for example, maybe you're making a corporate uh, um, system with a bunch of different phones. You could possibly make one ROM backup and copy it to all these other phones. Ideas are endless. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to root Nexus 6. And thanks guys for watching this video. Uh, if you follow my methods, even your dog can root your video. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and as always, I stay on Android.